initiative was set up um, to bring students together, to help them engage with one another and to form a really strong community bond within the halls of residence. So the initiatives themselves are designed to upskill students, to give them knowledge and experience in things like cooking, um, managing their money, um, reuse, recycling, upcycling, make do and mend. So we have a host of things running throughout the year that really we hope the students will be able to take with them into the outside world once they leave us. So we have um, the Pack for Good campaign. So students can um, offload their unwanted goods at the end of term and they can see those going to benefit the local community through the British Heart Foundation. We also have a Nostra Students event and that helps students look at the way they can cook, cooking as groups, um, making sure that they know what to do with their leftovers and how to purchase efficiently, creating shopping lists, all the things that really help their money go further. Uh, one of the other initiatives is Bangor on a Budget and again we have a drop-in surgery for students to talk about money worries and again we offer tips and advice about how to stretch their cash. We've been exploring for a while the potential for doing more with students in halls and the establishment of the Sustainability Lab and the development of the Campus Life Initiative have given us the ideal opportunity to develop this programme. So in, in collaboration with the Residential Life Team and coupled with the enthusiasm of the Campus Life Coordinators, we found the ideal mechanism to be able to deliver all the initiatives that we, we've thought of in the past. Living uh, from home for the first time in university is a life-changing experience for students. Uh, an, an experience that we want to help them through um, with all the support and the resources that we have to hand. We've invested heavily in uh, resources to provide a residential life team uh, headed by a senior member of our uh, staff who can then bring out all the um, support and experiences that we would like our students to, to see. Um, we have social events, um, we have a, a wide pastoral care support in halls um, and to that end um, we've taken it uh, to a, another step um, to prepare these students for their life um, out of halls um, when they move to back home or to uh, the private uh, sector. Reuse, recycling and uh, considerate disposal is uh, very important and it, it helps to equate that to the university's drive on sustainability and also the, the, in, the infrastructure that we've built into our new buildings which are all of Brian uh, excellence. The other thing that we were really keen to do, and I think this, this does speak very strongly to the sustainable agenda, was to make the living spaces here as sociable as possible. So the way that the, the buildings are designed is to ensure that students have spaces to socialise as small groups in flats, but also spaces to socialise uh, in larger groups, um, uh, be that um, for evening events, be that for communal cooking. Uh, there's all sorts of things like that that they're able to do, which is picked up by our campus life um, program. The benefits that students get from living in halls generally, and I hope on this site in particular, is that they learn to live and work together, they, live to, they, they learn to uh, uh, respect each other, they learn to respect their environment. Um, we have a lot of initiatives in place to make them aware of their responsibilities uh, as, as citizens, but also as their responsibilities as students to each other. Um, and that's really brought out through things like the Campus Life Programme, through the Warden Scheme, through our Peer Guiding Scheme at the University, and of course through a lot of the work that our student union do, who are absolutely wonderful um, and have uh, themselves fantastic green credentials for all sorts of different reasons. Um, but there's a big emphasis on volunteering, there's a big emphasis on peer support, uh, and that kind of local and global citizenship kind of rolled into one is, is a very important thing. So I got involved in the Love Horse campaign through the Campus Life programme that runs in halls. In my role as Campus Life coordinator, it's my responsibility to create an inclusive student community in halls. The Love Horse campaign, such as Bang on a Budget, Love Food Hate Waste and Love Your Clothes are really important in creating this community feel. 
So for students, as well as giving them an opportunity to meet new people, have fun and learn new skills, the Love Pools event helps prepare students for moving into private accommodation and makes them more aware of issues. I believe the Love Halls campaign will continue to grow and continue to be an important part of the Campus Life programme in Halls. The next steps going forward uh, are to further enhance uh, the various campaigns that we've got to keep them moving, to keep them fresh but all the time it needs to be working with the students together. There's no point in the university trying to decide what the students need. We have to work with the students to meet the needs that they have and the ambitions that they have and the aspirations they have uh, to become uh, the next generation of, of leaders and citizens uh, globally and locally, as I said.